Uh, Mike Henderson here with um, a little video about uh, how to make different headers and footers in uh, using OpenOffice and to how to have um, pages without headers and pages while at the same time the same document having pages with headers <coughs> or footers. Um, in my case, I'm doing a uh, trying to put the typeset of novel. And I, I didn't find it. Uh, I'm using OpenOffice, which is free and very powerful and useful. You can download it and install it, and uh, it works uh, very well. It has a suite of uh, programs that come with it, kind of like uh, uh, a Microsoft Office. So it's got database and spreadsheets and all that. Uh, but for our purposes, we use uh, OpenOffice Writer. And in this case, I have a novel that I have uh, imported into it and uh, done some work to it. But when you are doing a novel and, and a lot of other documents, <clears throat> excuse me, you want certain pages that have a header on it, such as uh, this one here and you want some without a header, like the, uh, the front matter, there's no header here. How do you get that to happen? And not only that, uh, you want header, um, but you want a header on different pages, different, pa uh, different headers on different pages. And in uh, OpenOffice, this is done with page styles. So let's go to the top, and this is the title of the book. Uh, I don't know why it appears cut off, but don't worry about it when I, it's not really cut off. Down here, uh, okay, we're going to save the document. Uh, for, uh, for some reason it takes a long time, but you've got to save your document every so often, so don't worry about that. So once it's done, if it ever gets done, uh, we'll uh, come back to this. All right. So, all right, sorry about that. We look down here and it says first page. That tells you that where I have my cursor, should be an E on the end of there. Um, the first page, this is the uh, uh, page style, first page, meaning that there is no header. So how do we do that? Well, we go to Format, Page, click on it, and it comes up with the first page. And this is all the things we use to define what that means. So. This is where you are, and all of these affect only that, nothing else. So on this page, the organizer, which is a, a goofy name, but uh, so be it, it says, what is the next style? In other words, on the page after this, what do you want to be the style? And in my case, I want it to be left page. So it's just a drop-down menu. You select whatever you want. In my case, left page. So we'll leave it at that. Go to page tab, and this is where you enter the dimensions of the page. And this all depends on what you want it to be. In my case, I like a book that is five and a quarter by eight inches. So I have those dimensions entered. That's why it says user. I entered them. There are uh, a lot of default versions of it, but I have this particular one. And then these numbers I got from a template um, from CreateSpace because I upload the CreateSpace and I'm going to, into the eight and a, uh, uh, rather the five and a quarter by eight inch format and this is the margins that they suggest. If you go to CreateSpace, there is a template you can download that has this information. Enter. So I'm going to show you what I'm talking about here. So there's inner, outer, top and bottom. Top and bottom are self-explanatory, you know, top and bottom. I'm doing a book. So there is an inside margin 
where, which is where the uh, binding is, and there's an outside margin, which is the edge of the page on the outside. The inside margin is usually wider than the outside margin because the book curves from the spine to the page. So there is a, a bit of the page is eaten up by the uh, distance between the, the text to the binding. Uh, so that's nine tenths of an inch in this case. And you can make it whatever you want. Whatever you think looks good is really what it amounts to. And the outer one is six tenths of an inch. And this is all just, you can, you, you know, you enter the data, you highlight it, you enter whatever you want. Uh, and then top and bottom, accord with the uh, template that they have, is uh, 0.76 inches. Um, and then the big thing is this right here, for a book anyway. You don't need, if you're not doing a book, then it doesn't matter. You figure out what works here, right and, you know, right and left are both the same. If you're not doing a book, uh, then your uh, your left and right margin will probably be the same because you want it centered. And if you're doing a handout or a pamphlet or something, uh, you might want it like that. But since I have a book and I have a binding, I want it uh, wider in the middle. So I select mirrored pages. So this gives you the dimensions of it. The background is just a color. It's going to be white. Uh, header. Now this is the, the, the bugaboo. On first page um, style, page style, first page, I do not want a header. When I'm doing uh, the front matter of a book or if I'm doing the first page of a chapter or even at the end where um, you know some gibberish about the uh, author, I do not want a header or a footer. The footer operates the same way. So I put, this box is not ticked. You know, it may have a check in it. To uncheck it, you just click on it and it goes away. And that's that. Uh, the rest of this we don't worry about. I don't use footers. If you use a footer, then you can, you know, it's the same operation. Footer on, and so forth. Well, on the first page, I do not want a footer. So that is how that is. I just say OK. Now, uh, these are all first pages because of that reason. I do not want a header or a footer on here. I just want the, the plane. Now I come down here, part one. I have a blank page because um, of a certain way I lay this out. We won't go into right now, but for my, my tastes, the, my preferences as far as how a book is laid out, you may find, find some extra pages. Now, here's chapter one. I did not want a header or a footer, so if you click on it, cursor's on it here, and it says it's the first page. Um, by the way, when we when we go back here to, uh, I don't remember whether I mentioned it or not, but we go to format, page, uh, page, um, organizer rather. Uh, so the next page is a left page. So I tell it what I want it to be there, and that's what this is. Now it's a little backwards because actually, if you when you upload it to Create Space, what happens is it, it adds a, a front page. It, it, it puts it starts this after a blank page on the left. So on uh, Create Space, for example, this will not be the leftmost page. It will actually be the a blank page here, and this will be by default put on the right. So don't worry about that because it's a little confusing because I say this is left page, but it's on the right hand side of the page. Okay, chapter one. Now, the other thing is I want, let's go to uh, left page. So this says it's left page. I'm going to go to format page. So now I am adjusting the format for the left page. This you can't change because you are on the left page and that's the way it is. The next page after a left page is going to be a right page, the way I do things. I go to page again and um, these are the dimensions. It's mirrored and uh, the same numbers. Uh, header. I want header on, but because I do want a header on this page, as we'll see, but I do not want it the same. Same content left 
and right, I do not want that because I want the left content to be different than the right content as far as the header is concerned. And as far as the margins are concerned, I just used uh, some, I used zero and it is 20 and it works out pretty well. You can experiment to see what you want. This is not cut in stone, do what you will. Okay. Then I come down, if I go here, this says, okay, this is the right page. It's the same thing. I go up here to format page. Header is on because I do want the header. And the same content is not on. You know, this box may be, if it's checked, you just click it again and the check goes away and it's gone. So that is how all of that works. Now you will see, based on all of this, that the chapter page, the chapter has no heading. And here is um, my name on the left-hand page, and here is the title of the book on the left-hand page. So and then as we go through, you will see that, and the page number, by the way, all you've got to do when you're doing the page number is, um, when you, when you edit, to edit the header, you just click on it up here where it's, where it's blinking, and then you um, insert a field and the page number. This is a field. This is not just a number you type in or whatever. So it's uh, insert fields, page number, boom, and uh, that goes. And that's, that's why it's highlighted because it tells you that this is not um, a number you entered. This is a field that it, it basically is calculated. Now, uh, we go down as we move through here. We're going to get to the point where uh, here's chapter two. So again, I have um, uh, told it it's a first page, and then over here is the left page, and so forth. And I know when I go through to uh, page, I want to go to uh, chapter whatever it is, four or five. So, okay, so here's chapter four, so I've done the same thing. Now I have a blank page here because this just inserts a blank page. So let's go down to chapter five because I want, I want the new chapter, the way I do the book, and this is not a, a rule, but this is the way I like it physically, is I like the new chapter to start on the right-hand side of the page. Although this is on the left, as I mentioned, it will be on the right in the book. To do that, I sometimes have to add a spacer page. So the left hand, if you'll open the book, the left hand page will be blank. And the right hand page will be the beginning of the next chapter. Uh, so we'll cursor down, we'll go to the, we'll find the next chapter. And, okay, so here it is. Now you look. Um, Right, uh, left page, right page, although opposite ends. The uh, chapter begins, but now I have a header. I don't want this header. I have the header and the page number. So how do I get rid of that? Um, the only way I've discovered is you uh, have to. There's a page break that tells it this, and then it dis then it decides this based on the previous page. Well, the previous page is a left-hand page, on, and the next page is right-hand page, so it, it does it accordingly. Well, I want to tell it not to do that. And the way I do that is I will backspace to get rid of the page break, hopefully, or delete. I'm up here. I want to get rid of this. There's a page break. Okay, so I got. You notice that chapter five is here now. So there, uh, it, there was a page break here. I'm going to insert manual a page break style first page. Boom. Okay. So now you. You see, it, it went from here, it did a page break, and here's chapter 5 with no header. The next page is the left-hand page, which is um, 
with my name. And the page after that, hopefully, and it is, is the left hand, or what, technically the right hand page with the name of the book. And you know, then we check to see, well, did it do the page numbers right? Um, 67, 68, 69, 70. Yeah, so the page numbers are right, 71, 72. And um, that's the way it is. And then we go to the next chapter and we find the same thing. I, I just use a delete. Somehow you've got to get rid of the page break that's in there. It doesn't. It, sometimes if you do this, it'll show up where the page break is. But uh, I don't know. I don't find that useful. Then I insert page break, manual break, page break, first page. Okay, boom. Page break is in. This guy has the right header. This guy has the right header, right page number. This guy has no header, no page number. And this guy then has the header and starts all over again. So that's how it's done. And then you can doctor this up all you want. You can move this down by just clicking on it or backspacing it or return. And that's it. So I hope that that clarified things and um, will help you uh, do this without beating your head against the wall.